flex I'm down that check No drip this what? Tell him run it up No sleep, no rest Might crash, might wreck But first die Stretch Fly job Welcome to Behind the Glass Thank you man, glad to be here It's been a long time since we did <laughs> Since we did our last video. Yeah, man. I haven't seen you in a while, man. It's been What's too long, on, man. Yeah, too long. Uh, yeah, just busy with work, you know. What the trucks is going on with you, man? Uh, I've been making all kinds of games. You've been making games. All is kinds. that trademarked? I don't all think so. Games. Well, maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Behind the Glass. Yeah. Oh, man. What are we going to discuss today? How's life been treating you, buddy? Pretty well. Yeah. yeah. I'm, um, I'm doing all right. No complaints right now. You been doing anything interesting? Mm, to be honest, the most interesting I've done, the interesting thing I've done lately is um, learning how to keyboard type. Oh, God. Mm. Nobody knows how to keyboard type. Nobody knows how to keyboard type. I sure as heck don't. When I keyboard type, it's this. Yeah. Never took that typing class, so I'm going to do that. Maybe. Yeah, uh, I've got a sister, and she taught herself how to type, so... How long does that take? Does anybody know? Does anybody care? Depends on how smart you are. So I'm not, uh... Hey, man. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> no, that's not true, actually. I am. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't take you too long, though. We're gonna do a little bit of changing with this, uh, set at some point. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it, but, uh... We've got some great feedback from the people who like the show, and they've been watching, and, yeah. uh... Oh, yeah, while we're in the beginning of this, like the page, share the page, subscribe to the right. page, all that good stuff. Uh, send me an email, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. We'll answer uh, questions for people. If you have questions, we'll, uh, we'll talk about your crap on my show. Sure, philosophical otherwise. Well, I mean... Maybe I'll take those questions. We'll take, the, you know, we'll take your philosophical questions if that's mm -hmm. what you'd like. If you need your existential problems solved, bring them to Jerry John. Uh, if you need your existential questions solved, go to God. Because <laughs> I don't give. I don't give a dirt. <laughs> oh, wow. That's not true. Wow. That's savage. I care about your problems. So. Yeah, he cares. <laughs> sometimes I care. Depends on his mood. Man, this studio where I'm at last night, I was working in here, and I heard, a, like, Somebody walking past my window outside. This is a studio that I've got in my home. Mm -hmm. Somebody went walking by the window. So I peered out. <laughs> and I had all the lights on in the room. And when I peered out, you know, it illuminates you to right. whoever's outside. Mm -hmm. So I saw the guy walking by and he stopped. And he looked at me and I was looking at him. <laughs> it was just one of those super awkward Those awkward moments. stare moments. Yeah, yeah, where you like kind of slide away yeah, from the like, window. All right, let me close like, this. I'll close that. And then yeah. I was turning lights off. Uh, Very, uh... Yeah, we got some uh, peeping toms up there. Some creepy Yeah, numbers. interesting. <laughs> so one of the things that... Pardon my water drinking, but I'm thirsty. Also, it helps because... Uh, you need something in your hands sometimes. Yeah, I need something to do. You're fidgety. When you're, let's take it off camera. Well, no, you can leave yours on camera. Okay. Mine was just like front and center. <laughs> okay. We should have... I should have taken off the stickers, but we're not that big of a show yet. Yeah. So one of the last discussions that we were talking about kind of off camera, you and I, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Something that people were wondering about was uh, some of our thoughts on the current uh, dating world. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> the, of the, wait, let me get close for this. Of the female variety. variety. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a twin moment, but I can't, can't say that. Twin moment. Yeah, <laughs> no, man. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> women. A lot of my earlier videos, I talked a lot about women ranted and raved about them. Oh, we do. <laughs> the reason behind that being is because it's one of the more interesting topics of my life. Mm -hmm. It's a very frustrating topic. Yeah. We were just watching a show called The Office. Yeah, In The right. Office, there's a woman named Pam. Pam is engaged. Pam is also constantly hanging around this character named Jim. Jim. <laughs> Halpert. Anybody out there, answer this question for me. Answer the simple question. Actually, Cy John, mm -hmm. you're here. We can talk about this. Let's do it. Let's say you're married. 
No, no, no. Getting married. You have a girlfriend. Okay. Is it okay for her to hang out at work with a guy, eat dinner with him, go grocery shopping with him? I don't know. Listen to his music. She had one ear buddy and he had an yeah. ear buddy and it was lovey dovey. Yeah. Uh, give well, us your I, uh, yeah. give us your professional opinion on All right. this. So let's get down to this. And then I'll here. tell you mine. Yeah. You'd have to define okay. So I'm gonna take a very um, rational approach to this. It's like, am I comfortable with it? All right. So let's say okay is what I'm comfortable with. The answer is then most certainly no. Hell no. Don't touch his earbuds, okay? Don't touch his earbuds. Don't touch him. Stay away from him. Clearly, he's... <laughs> what is a girlfriend allowed to do? Right. If you have a girlfriend, what is she allowed to do in right. a relationship? Right. Okay, let's, let's break this down. For all of the people out there who don't seem to understand, let's break this down, okay? My thought. If I have a girlfriend, you shouldn't be texting dudes. No, no, no. I take that back. I'm, I'm going to come at this from a very soft point of view. Okay. Okay? I mean, not soft, but uh, what's the word? Compassionate. Not so hard. Compassionate. Beautiful word. There Compassionate. Yeah. Yeah, say that again. Compassionate. <laughs> 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 Compassionate. The relationship between men and women are different. Mm -hmm. I think, I truly believe women think some guys are just their friends. Okay? I think some women have confused themselves. Okay? Here's what I know. Guys don't think women are just their friends. We don't just hang out with women as friends. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I'm afraid that's pretty much correct. I mean, now, there's that odd platonic relationship yeah but it's i mean it's like it's always like yeah you know depending on how things go it could yeah it could go certain ways trash that if boyfriends would not like <laughs> if you're my girlfriend stay away from guys you have to uh i can't do it mm -hmm. i've never been the kind of individual who wants my girlfriend chatting it up with a bunch of dudes i mm -hmm. feel like that's right. respectable on my part now Ro roles reversed you know, I don't talk to a bunch of chicks. That's, you shouldn't be yeah. talking to a bunch of guys. Right. I think it's it's got to be mutual, right? Yeah. If she if she's not allowed to chat with a bunch of girls. You got to uphold the same standard, right? I mean, guys, yes, yeah, so you got you can't just go chat up with all your female coworkers and hang out. And, you know, it's like there's got to be some standard there. You know, and it's like that doesn't mean no interaction with the opposite sex. It's like because that's an extreme case. It's like now you're just getting super clingy. You know. Yeah. But there's got to be defined boundaries because otherwise things get out of hand rapidly and easily guys if you have a girlfriend and she's constantly talking to a bunch of dudes all the time and they're her friends they're her best friends she loves them they're sweet cool individuals all they run <laughs> run fast <laughs> let this be a lesson to everybody run uh we are at eight minutes 46 seconds what a fantastic show this has been. It's been a good show, man. It's been a good talk. Uh, it's been clean. We need to do more of these more often, Sa John. Yeah. I like it. Uh, we still need to get Cor John on the show. Still hasn't brought his brewing down here. He'll get over here at some point. But uh, meanwhile, we're popping these videos out. Yeah. Um, anything else that you want to say to these people? Stay cool. Stay frosty, nerds. What did you call them in the beginning of Jumps. the... Jumps. Jumps. The other one. The one we did a while ago. Jumps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It was a esoteric for losers. Me. Yeah, <laughs> as uh, Jordan Peterson would say. Yes, you are the esoteric god and the loser right. of the god community. Right. Yeah. No, you're the archetypal loser. You're the archetypal loser. Right. The archetypal story of mankind. That's true. As a loser, we learn from that every single day. Every day. Skis. Did I say like and share my page and subscribe? We did that. I think a little bit earlier. But it doesn't hurt to reiterate. Sometimes yeah. people, these people forget things, you know? Yeah. Uh, I wonder, can I get my boots in the shop? I was actually going to ask about that. I don't know how this works. <sighs> like and subscribe. You guys For can't boots. see these clean boots I got on. They're all kinds of clean. Check them out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <sighs> We're going to cut this show now.
And cue music. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a great show. Behind the glass. Fantastic. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys back on the page next time. Peace. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I'll break. Every time. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta get that outro down. Gotta clean that form up. Yeah.